So we're just under a week away from um, the big day that is Christmas. I don't need to tell you that. Um, if you've got time to sit and watch this, uh, then hopefully you are a domestic goddess and you're organised, um, you've got your turkey, your presents are wrapped under your perfect Christmas tree and you're just sitting back, you know, relaxing with a glass of mulled wine thinking, I know, I'm going to pamper myself. I need a few tips for my skin. Um, so hopefully that is the case. Um, I, on the other hand, not organised at all, um, taken a few minutes out of my busy schedule, uh, treating my clients' skins and trying to get my new Norwich Skin Lounge premises ready, um, because I really wanted to bring you some tips leading up to the big day, thinking about what we're eating, what we're drinking and the effect that that's going to have on our skin. So we're all going to probably take um, a few alcoholic beverages on board over the next week or so. Opt for red wine. Uh, red wine is packed with polyphenols, a potent antioxidant, really good for protecting and defending the skin from further damage. Um, mulled wine is a great warming drink and it is red wine based. Just be aware though that generally mulled wine will have even more sugar in than regular sort of alcohol content. So um, just be a little bit aware of limiting um, your sort of things like your, your mulled wine with additional sugars. And you know, just a really simple um, bit of knowledge that we all have of having a glass of water for every alcoholic drink we have. Dehydration will really affect your skin. So if you're burning the candle at both ends, you really want to be able to wake up the next morning and getting ready for your next day at work and then your next party um, and have glowing skin. So take on board that water alongside, ideally, something like a, a red wine. So you're getting some nice cell protecting, defending benefits as well. And thinking about kind of festive foods, well, Cranberries are really in season at the moment, and again, they're rich in antioxidants, but in particular, cranberries are packed with vitamin C. Vitamin C is vital for collagen production. Without it, our bodies can't produce this really strengthening, stabilizing fiber that gives the spring and the bounce and the youthful appearance to our skin. So sprinkle some cranberries into your porridge maybe in the morning, add them to a festive turkey salad, um, you could even add them to a, a smoothie as well, but get some vitamin C on board. It will boost your collagen, it will boost your body's immunity, warding off colds and flus, it will stimulate your skin's immunity as well. So that's something else that you can think about um, when you're sort of tucking into all of your festive fare. I, at the moment, am guzzling down milk thistle. It's an amazing herbal tincture. Add it to a little bit of water every day, about 12 to 15 drops. Milk thistle is a brilliant liver support, and the liver and the skin are really closely linked. So if we're strengthening the liver and helping that to detoxify from all the additional um, indulgences that we go through, again, that will have a knock-on benefit to your skin, and you'll have nice, glowing, bright skin as well. Um, and I'm seeing and feeling a lot of tension in this area at the moment. I'm doing a lot of massaging of jaws and kind of down into the sternocleidomastoid muscles that line the side of your neck. So, you know, if you are luxurious enough to have a little bit of time, you're sitting there in the evening, um, then just spend a few minutes when you're putting your moisturiser on at night and just massage the jaw, massage the skin in upward circular movements. Just spending a couple of extra minutes a day will really help to aid cell renewal. Um, it will also flood the skin with fresh blood and with fresh blood will come oxygen and nutrients and it will also be great for dispersing toxins and alleviating fluid retention. So if you're suffering with puffy eyes, baggy eyes, I know I have been, um, just spend a few minutes massaging the skin. It doesn't have to be lengthy, it doesn't have to be a real luxurious ritual, but a couple of minutes and your skin will really, really benefit from that. And lastly, the cardinal sin of going to bed with your makeup on. Now I know there are some great mineral makeups out there and I use that myself and recommend and use that on my clients, but it's not a good habit to get into. Most regular makeups will have lots of harmful chemicals, but also you're going to have picked up all of the dirt and grime and pollution from the day, and you're going to sleep in it all night when your skin does all of its vital repairing and rejuvenating. So please, please spend a few minutes, get your makeup off, 
get your moisturiser on before you fall into a heap in bed um, and that will really really make such a difference in the morning when you when you get up you'll thank me for it honestly so just a few things um, I hope that helps and um, I really that's just left for me to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and an amazing 2012 um, I'm really excited I'm, I'm literally a week or so away from getting my premises in Norwich um, set up so thank you to all of my existing clients in Norwich and in London for all of your support this year and I can't wait to welcome you to my new premises in 2012. Have a great time and Merry Christmas.